Hello, I'm Robert Thomas with PhotoBlogStop, and today's tutorial is about how to apply selective focus to your images. I'm basically going to show you how you can selectively paint in or paint out the focus in your images. Now, to use this technique, you'll need two images of the same subject. One of these images should be shot using a small aperture, and this will give you a high depth of field. That's where the majority of your image is in focus. And the other image should be shot using a large aperture. And this will result in a minimal depth of field where quite a bit of the image will be out of focus. And what we're going to do is take these two images and combine them in a way where we get the best focus where we want it. We're going to selectively apply that focus. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be using a couple of images of a rose from my garden. Uh, one of these images which was shot at f22 which gives us a high depth of field and the other at f5 which has the reduced or minimal uh, depth of field. Uh, now I shot these photos using a tripod and I recommend you do the same for your images uh, and that's basically because we want the images to align properly in Photoshop. And if you have some images where you, you didn't use a tripod you can always use Photoshop's auto align feature. Now we'll start by opening our two images. I've named them rows 1 and rows 2. Uh, here in Photoshop you can see rows 1 is the image that was shot with the uh, F22, the high depth of field, and quite a bit of the image is in focus. And if we look at rows 2, you'll see that there's minimal depth of field. Just the rose itself is pretty much in focus, and the background is, is nice and softly br uh, blurred. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to take rose 2, and we're going to move it into the rose 1 document so as a layer. So I'm going to begin by holding down the Command key on a Mac or Control on Windows, and I'm just going to drag this image up into rose 1. And when you see that rose 1 tab highlight, I'm going to bring it back down, hold shift and just let go and what that does is it drops it into its own layer here in the rows 1 image. So now we have two layers. I'm just going to rename them. I'm going to double click on the background layer and I'm going to call that rows 1. And we'll double click on the name here. We'll call it rows 2. So we have rows 2 on top, rows 1 is on the bottom. Now if I turn off the visibility for the layer rows 2, you'll see that we get all the focus back. I'm going to show that layer again, and there's the blurry version. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a mask to the rows 2 layer, and then we're going to paint in where we want our focus. So I'm going to begin by selecting the rows 2 layer to make it active. I'm going to come down at the bottom here and I'm going to click on the add a layer mask icon and that adds a white layer mask to that layer and I'm going to hit D to set the default colors for my foreground and background which makes white the foreground then I'm going to hit X to reverse those so now black is the foreground color and I'm going to hit B for the brush tool and now if we begin to paint on this layer with black, we're going to be showing the layer below and thus painting in focus. So if you notice on this leaf here at the bottom, I like these droplets. I'd like to have those be in focus. So I'm going to paint over that and you'll see how it's becoming into focus. Pretty nifty, eh? So anyways, I'm going to just paint in this whole rose because I do know that, um, for example, this little water drop here at the top, that is a little bit out of focus, and I would like to have that nice and crisp, get the nice crisp edge there. So I'm going to paint this entire rose just to make sure that everything is nice and crisp sharp. We'll paint all that in there. And then we'll look at the photo and say, well, what do we want to be in focus? I like this leaf on the left-hand side here. Let's get that in focus. I'm using a nice soft brush here. And I think this down here on the right-hand side, we should bring a little bit of that into focus. 
Look how nice that is. And to frame this rose, it'd be nice to get a little bit of focus up in this area, a little bit of sharpness. And I think the same for this area here. Now I'm not sure if I like the focus in this area over here on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my foreground and background colors by hitting the X key. And you'll notice that the foreground color changes to white. And now if we paint on this layer mask with white, we're going to be removing the focus. We'll be restoring that blur. See how that works? All right, so I think uh, I think we have it where we want. I'm going to hit X again to make black my foreground and just make sure we have everything here. Make sure we have it just the way we want. And I think that looks pretty good. So now we can turn off the visibility of this layer mask by holding down Shift and clicking on the mask. And you'll see here is our original version of the shallow depth of field image where there's lots of blur. And if we shift click on this layer mask again, you'll see the results of our mask where we selectively painted in focus into certain areas of the image. All right, well, that concludes today's tutorial on selective focus. Uh, remember that you can always visit photoblogstop.com where you can find a variety of Photoshop and photography tutorials. Thank you.